and meaning with Jesus Christ. But right now, you're kind of a low life. <laughs> but, but, not, not all of you, just but, but, but what, are, what are the things that we can do to build ourselves up? What you can do is turn from your sins, which I said, it's gotta stop. and turn to Jesus Christ and become normal just like me. A Christian. What is normal? <laughs> normal is you're looking at it. Somebody who lives according to the Bible. A lot of you students, you live according to your feelings. If it feels good, do it. If it feels good masturbating, just do it. Fuck yeah. If it feels good smoking the marijuana, just do it. No, no, no. Smoke marijuana because God made marijuana, but see, when you smoke marijuana, you start coughing. You don't have to smoke it. And your body tells you, Susie, why are you putting that poison in me? It's not poison. It's completely the opposite of poison. It cures cancer. Marijuana cures cancer. A certain oil. I'm just concerned about you getting high. How many of you students on this campus right now are doing the pots? Every day. 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 Every
<laughs> well, that's not very interesting. Why do you say pot? Because pot could be multiple things. Okay, students, I have a confession to make. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, she's going to fucking trouble to do it. Be like a trouble going? Back in my day, I used to hit the bong like Chi Chin Chong. Oh! Back in the day, we probably we probably would have been best friends. But but I'm a I'm a changed man. I've been changed. I'm a new man. I'm ready to be folded. I have another thing that I know. Yeah, you're like a lot, you're probably a lot older than me, and you've probably experienced a lot of things. But I've also experienced a lot of things. Okay. Right? Sure that I've, years. Are you and, uh, I've learned, especially within the past year of my life, and with all the changes that I've made for myself, which I'm trying to make for my community, that you don't get anywhere from preaching hate. You can't cultivate a space of love and appreciation and a space where you're wanting people to live in the way that would be of utmost optimal health for us and for God and for all of those things. You can't, you can't preach like, you fucking suck because you do this and you're going to go to hell because of that because that's not, that makes someone be like, okay, I'm going to be defensive and I'm going to fight back and I'm going to fucking Most say them, everything. Most of but not everybody. No, yeah, everybody. This is how we react. We all have energy. I have seen people change. We, we, we all have energy fields. Gay people have seen them change. We all have energy fields and if you're coming at someone from the hell, they're going to they wanted to change. You have to cultivate love. You cannot cultivate love. I'm one of the most loving people on this campus right now. But no, you're not. You're not. Why the fuck you lie? You can look at someone and say, you're a disgusting person because of the things that you do, but you're not appreciating love. Oh my God, stop fucking lying. All right, I'm done. Okay, let me ask you, how many of you students are feeling the love from me right now? No. Oh, okay. You got one person. I love you. Dude. See, somebody appreciates me, somebody loves me, so. I appreciate you, I just love you. I appreciate, I appreciate you, but I just don't. I appreciate you appreciating me. I haven't seen you spewing any love. I haven't seen hate. I've only been here for five minutes, but like. Students, how is this not loving? I'm a Christian. I believe people are going to go to hell forever. So I come here to warn you. Flee from God's wrath. Flee from hell. Flee from your sin. And be saved and live with Jesus Christ. I don't know why that doesn't make sense to you. What? Yeah, Paul Jesus. <laughs> I'm heaven bound. And why are you heaven bound? Does heaven even exist? All right. Do we know that heaven exists? Of course, Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. Pizza? They combine multiple things together. Well, what's your shirt made out of? Hold on, one question at a time. You pizza is not sin in and of itself. But if you're eating pizza all the time, it might be kind of unhealthy. You might end up looking like Rosie and Rosie. Is that being fat It could be. What? Not always, but it could be. In and of itself, it's, it's not bad, but you could be like overindulging and you're just like some glutton or something. You know what I'm saying? You have no self control. You're always going to like Burger King or something. That'd be a problem. Hold on. Okay, we've got. We've got a question from a man. A yeah. man? Oh, I guess it's like, like yeah. I, do you consider your views in line with the Westboro Baptist Church? And if you don't, how do you uh, distance yourself from them? I agree on some things, but uh, uh, Westboro Baptist Church, they believe in Calvinism, that everything in life is predestined. I believe you have a free will. You can change. You can change your destiny. Right now, you're going straight to hellfire. But you can turn around and go the other way and be saved. Now, who, who wants to be saved? Um, uh, Who wants to become normal again? Gonna be there? In heaven, it's going to be me and Jesus Christ forever. How wonderful is that? Are video games a sin? Because I love video games. Uh, video games are not sin, but it's kind of childish. Mortal Kombat is amazing. Mortal Kombat is amazing. She's asking, who am I? Students, my name is Brother Mikhail. I got a card. Okay, then you don't want to know. Uh, what? 
Oh, yeah, you got to He just wants attention. Y'all haven't even seen the worst yet. It's all right. I got a bike. Where are you from? What? Where are you from? What church are you Yeah. Now, Brother Mikkel, thank you, thank you, is, uh, I come all the way from Oregon. From hell. Where are you, Mormon? From hell. No, I'm a Christian. I'm just a Protestant. I believe in the Bible. Okay, this woman is patiently waiting on her knees. Brother Jed's in the building. He's old as shit. Hey, hey, brother Jed. Oh, uh, he was a Christian. It's a boss battle. This is the mafia leader. <laughs> well, she thought she was. Now she knows better. Uh, how would you define a Christian, young lady? What about you? Okay, you definitely. I want to hear your. What is a Christian? A Christian is someone who follows our Savior, Jesus Christ. That is a true Christian. Very good answer. Jesus said, and if you, he said, if you love me, we love our Savior. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Yes. So the real test is, when we start loving God, when we're Christians, we obey God. You forsake the sin. You will want to go out and get wasted this weekend. Fuck yeah. Right? That means you're following the devil. Two races of men, you will uh, be with me on this. There's the Christian race, and then there's the heathens, the infidels. The um, labor, and I used the to center. be there. I used to be a follower of Satan. And so I gave my life to the Lord. And I live for Him every day. I surrender myself to Him every day. I take down my cross and He holds me up high. He is my Savior. I went to prison. I went to prison because I chose to follow Satan. I chose to use drugs. I chose to neglect my daughter because I couldn't provide for her. Well, guess what? The Lord had different plans for me. He had different plans, and here I am now. And I didn't even plan to be here today with this brother here, but I will defend my Savior. Ever since I gave my life to him, I've been so happy. What's the plan for someone who has cancer and has to live with that? Is you know, there really a plan for them? There is a plan for them. I used dead. to have cancer. I had cervical cancer. Ma'am, how much are you being paid to be here? <laughs> how much are you being paid to be here? I have been healed. How much are you being paid to be here? I have been healed by the stripes. How much are you being paid to be here? Not everyone's healed. They just die. Answer his question. What's the plan? Hey, Jesus hey, raised the dead. Yes, he made them blind to see. He kept the healer, the lame, the lame. He did and he does. Don't leave God to heal you. But we've all got to Okay, whatever they're paying you to be here, son, no. Everyone's got an appointment with death. The Bible says, men are appointed once to die. And after that comes the judgment. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Turn from your sins. And brother, Jesus did not come to condemn, right? He came to save. He came to save. And he came to save the lost. If any of you are willing to accept Jesus Christ into your hearts today, please do so. He is, his arms of welcome are open always and forever, waiting for you to come to him. Waiting for you to surrender your life to him. Okay, Miss Lady and I will pray for you. Yes. Have your sins forgiven right now. And have a new life in Christ. Yes. You know what the Bible calls it? Yes. He says, one term. He said to Nicodemus, Nicodemus, you must be what? Nicodemus, be saved. You know, uh, 30 years from now, you've seen stretches and just look like a 
Yeah. Well, I'll have a wink on you, Shit, my friends going to be pissed. So, everybody, wait, everybody who comes from a broken home, well, everybody who has tattoos comes from a broken home, basically. What's that? I said everybody who has tattoos comes from a broken home, basically. I would just wonder why you would uh, no, right? get a tattoo, not right? necessarily. It's a form of art. Some of you, some of you may come from good homes. So what about her? No, I, I, she, she probably got that tattoo before she Wait, I have a question. So, to be saved, you said that we could be saved, right? Saved from sin. Oh, okay. But if this is a sin, it's not necessarily. Well, not necessarily. The reason I asked about your parents, see, if you get a tattoo and your parents don't want you to do that, then you're dishonoring your parents, which is a sin. That's why I brought that up. That's a violation of the fifth commandment. So if you're doing anything that displeases your parents, most parents I know what if don't it, want their what if children it, getting tattoos. Okay, what if it pleases me? That doesn't matter? What's that? What if it pleases me? Well, you got to please God. See, it's all about you, you, you. Me, me, me. You what pleases God. He's giving you beautiful skin. Uh, be satisfied with that. <laughs> but he also gave me a tattoo gun. And he gave other people like... That's not a good thing to do. He gave people the ability to make tattoos. Yeah. Exactly. Tattoo. That's a good looking tattoo. Come on. Jesus had a tattoo. Let me take off my sweater real quick so y'all can see all my tattoos. Let me put a sexuality That's my favorite part of this one. Oh, you have a song? Oh. He has a song. Yeah. Yeah. He has a song. You would rap this shit. Bro. <laughs> I don't sing the gay song anymore. Can anyone please hear it? Very, very offensive to gay people. What child? Yeah, I'm going to kill you. And you know how sensitive gay people can be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 You know, one not out in the closet, and they go and commit suicide then. And we're all feel bad. And they would go to hell. You know, I, I doubt they really care what you think. So it's, it's good. Well, they do. We don't care what we think. That's why you're here. But you need to be primarily concerned with what God thinks. And we're telling you what God thinks on the issues of life. And we have the Bible to back us up. Word of, you ever go to church? Not really. You no. used to? Kind of. Not really. Yeah, well, that's your problem. You need to check out the churches. Go to churches. Churches around here. Right here. You can go to I'm a preacher. This is what I do every day. I've been preaching in Indiana State. This begins my 45th year. In the year of our 45th president, we every year. So God said that we should not worship anything that is equal or better than God, right? Anything. So then what do you value more than God, right? If you're dressing like this. Do you value currency, my friend? Currency. On the quarter, or on any currency the Americans have, it says, in God we trust. So for you to spend such currency, would that be violating the terms and conditions of the Bible? No. <laughs> Why not? Because you're using money. Money. Oh, that is the I think simple about money, it's the love of money that's true to all evil. <laughs> you put money ahead of God, which money people do. I mean, but money uh, you know, man, is just a means uh, of exchange. Over there. There's nothing in that to facilitate exchange. YouTube, I said, I quoted the Bible, it says the uh, love I issue, of money. I put I issue Brother Jed and stuff. I'm going to like, love put money. the money. In but order so many to be a or your sinfully would be when you put money in gaining the wealth ahead of the will of God in your life. Do you recite where in the Bible it says that the quote? It doesn't get the first thing. We did have Larry Bird here though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Magical job. I just want to you know Jesus had a tattoo, right? There's scripture about it. Oh, really? Yeah. Revelation 19:16. On his robe and on his thighs, it is written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Jesus has a tattoo, so how are you going to come at me and say that my tattoos are a sin? Book of Revelation, you understand, deals with the future. That deals with God's uh, Christ's second coming. Right, but if Christ is supposed to be. Hold on, hold on. How are you going to interrupt somebody? I might have something written on my pet leg or something. Oh my god. <laughs>
Oh, like that. If you're going to claim that. Jesus is omnipotent and he's holy and goes everywhere and he's at all times, so we can't. Jesus died for no reason. Jesus died for no reason. He died to deliver us and set us free from the power and the victory. I know that, but if we don't sin a little bit, he died for no reason. Oh, freedom, freedom. Oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. What about abortion? What about abortion? Brother, brother Jed. Yo, Jed. No, no, wait. Brother Jed, we got a question. Sex song. What about abortion now? Hold on, wait till you look. <laughs> Father Jay, what you gotta say? Father Jay. That's why Jesus is great. Oh, sweet the Uh, huh? You know what that word grace means? Why, why is it amazing? Tell us what it means. It means it's the undeserved and unmerited favor of God. See, we all deserve hell. But we found mercy and grace and favor in the sight of God because of Jesus who died for us. And we believe in Him. We can re receive this transforming grace. Grace is so amazing. Like a transformed her from a drug addict to a good Christian girl. God doesn't know what you can do with your This guy's got a deep Brother Jeff, will you make me the happiest man to take me to America? Kiss him! Are you a gay? This is priceless. You don't even have a lamp for this? Hey, you know it says in the Bible. Is that a no? Are there any gay guys out here? Hi, friends. How you doing? Brother Zip, Brother Zip. Yes. You have the question. Abortion. How do you feel about abortion? Yeah. Well, what do you think I would feel about it? Pro choice. You really uh, pulled the A card. Murder of an innocent oh. life. What if, what if that child was born and they're born in a bad family and they're going to grow up to be a sinner? Gotcha. Well, there are people that are born in and good families that uh, end up bad. The people that are born in the bad families end up good. Whether we're good or bad is a matter of personal choice. Oh, you too. Now, if you have bad parents, it's a bad influence. But we don't necessarily follow our influence. A lot of you come from good homes. <laughs> Back in my day in Indian history. Back in my day. <laughs> Somewhat of a player. Yeah. Oh, oh, he was up. Wait, what he's I was in a fraternity. Oh. Okay. Oh. What fraternity? And I used to get down and dirty with oh. sorority girls. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what our favorite sorority was? What? Sorority. Well, this sorority. Uh, sorority. 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 This is an IU. I start off with IU and it But if you guys, uh, you know any Delta, Delta, Deltas, the Tri Delts? You have them here? I don't know. Were they freaky? Well, they were pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> they were freaky and cute. Look at the flag. I'm so happy. Hey, brother, you know it's a big thing. Look at my... Oh, it's I was able to turn some money. You know what it says in the book? Oh! 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 It was wrong. I mean, I was, I wasn't motivated by love. I was strictly motivated by lust, but I thought I did them some good. Brother Flipper. Brother Flipper. Well, now I'm a happily married man. Ladies, he's down. This man said he got the.
<laughs> you students are much better than ISU in Illinois. You know what? They, they broke my wife's ankle Tuesday at uh, uh, ISU. Okay, she was filming things just like you're doing. And someone came up and grabbed the phone. And uh, and she held on to it and dragged her to the ground. Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, Bloomington, uh, Illinois. 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 This is uh, cotton. This is 100% cotton. Everything you're wearing is going to make a fabric. He says that your jacket made of mixed fabric. Because that's the thing. It's like you want to talk to me. None of that polycotton wig. I'll watch your video, man. I'll see you. All right. We're both sitters, yes? Well, we have sitters. How can you say? Yeah, but you can come across. You become a saint. You're still a sinner as a Christian. at some point probably Well, you may not repent. So please don't repent. If you sin, you do have a savior if we can. Why are you at me right now? I was wondering, what gives you the right to judge me in my damnation? I just tell you what God stands as a judgment of God in the Bible. I'm not going to make